Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these beautiful teardrop modern seed beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. Check description for a full list of materials. Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Also, you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 0 seed beads. Green, blue with a purple nuance and pink. Here I'm using earring findings and this is Nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work with four blue beads. I'm sliding those down. I'm leaving here a small tail, let's say 25 centimeters or 10 inches of tail, because I will finish my work later with it. Then I go through these two beads. And when I pull gently, I have two columns of beads next to each other. Then I go backwards through the second one of those columns. I take two pink beads and I go backwards through these two blue, forming another column. Go back through the blue, take two green beads and go back through these two pinks. Then through the greens, another blue column, then one more, Then I will repeat what I have here, but the other way around. Green, pink and two blue columns. this row ready. Okay guys and now what I want to do is take two purple and two pink beads and you see these thread bridges that I have here between my beads. One, two and now what I want to do is to go under the second one of them. Okay, I'm going here under the second one. Now, what I want to do is go back through these two pin beads that are closer to the center of my work. Then I'm going backwards through all of the, those four beads. And one more time through all of those four beads reinforcing my work like this. Then I need two green beads and I'm going here under the next thread bridge. Okay. 
and backwards through the newly added beads. Then two blue. Two green. Two blue. Two green. Two pink. And two blue beads. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm taking two pink and two green beads. And now what I want to do is go again through the second thread bridge. When I have less beads in the next row of my brick stitch, I always add, I always go through the second thread bridge, not through the first one. So it is a decreasing brick stitch. And I go through these two that are closer to the center of my work. Then backwards through these two pin beads. And through the green beads. Then purple column of two. Two green columns of two. And a purple column of two. Then here I will mirror what I have from this side. A green and a purple column of two. I need two green and two purple beads. I go again here under the second thread bridge. Go back through these two purple beads and reinforce. Then add green, then pink, then green again. Then purple and green. Okay. 
In my next row I'm adding two purples and two green beads. And again I'm going under the second thread bridge that I have here. Also I reinforce. Then two pink rows, a green row and a purple row. Then two purples, two greens, go under the second thread bridge, go back through the two that are closer to the center of your work and reinforce. Pink, green, purple purple to green, go under the second thread bridge and again the familiar steps of going through the second two and reinforcing. Then green and purple purple and green, second thread bridge, reinforce, Now take just two purple beads and go under the second thread bridge with them. Of the two thread bridges that I have, I'm going through the second one. Then go here like this. Then what I want to take is a pink bead, my earring finding and a pink bead. And what I want to do is go back through one of those purple beads and then what I want to do is to reinforce okay now after I reinforced what I want to do is to put my needle on this end of my work and after and after I put it I'll be back Okay, and now my needle is here at this end and what I want to do is go here in the neighbor beads and after that I want to make a knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made, pulling Then I go through 
through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to cut my thread here. Okay, and after that I need the needle on this end of my work. Okay guys, and I want to go here at this side. And in order to do this, I want to go through some beads in this direction. And I want to turn my work in this way. And now I'm exiting through one of my purple beads that I have here. And I need here seven purple beads. And as I'm exiting through one of those beads, I'm going here in the other. And I have this. Now I want to go in the neighbor green bead and I'm going to take 11 green beads nine plus two it's eleven and now what I want to do is go here in these two green beads And I go like this. I'm turning my work in this direction. And I'm going in the neighbor two pink beads. Okay, and I have 16 pink beads here. And as I'm exiting from these two pink beads, I go in the neighbor two. Now I have this. In my next step I want to turn my work in this direction. And I go in these two purple beads. Turn it again. And I need 21 purple beads. And I'm going in these two purples here. I'm pulling and then I'm going through these two purples and I take four purple beads, five green beads, nine pink beads, five green beads and four purple again. And with this on my needle, I'm going here through these two pink beads. just like this. Now what I'm going to do guys is go through some beads in this direction and I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going once and going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut my thread 
Okay guys, and now my modern seed beads teardrop double brick stitch earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week, and you will be inspired often. You could also check description for a full list of materials and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.